हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो वेलकम टू कॉलेज ट्यूबर विद अ न्यू कॉलेज रिव्यू वीडियो एंड मेनी मोर वीडियोस टू कम सो प्लीज स्टे ट्यून विद द चैनल एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल सो दिस रिव्यू इज अबाउट आरवी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग आरवीसी इन बैंगलोर विच इज द नंबर वन इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज इन कर्नाटका एंड वन ऑफ द टॉप नॉच ऑप्शन इन इंडिया टू डू योर इंजीनियरिंग सो दिस इज क्वाइट ओल्ड एंड इस्टेब्लिश कॉलेज स्टार्टेड इन नाइनटीन so uh, and it's an autonomous college so autonomous college which is affiliated to vishwasuraya technology university vtu and its nac accreditation is a plus talking uh, about its nrf ranking so last 3 years uh, it's all and, and always it has been under top 100 colleges uh, in 2024 its ranking is 99 but uh, it is a college which should be considered only in the top 50 and it is equivalent to any good nit and talking about the address it is located on the mysore road uh, in bangalore and uh, it's approximately 12 to 15 km from the city railway station so first i'll talk about the different programs and uh, the fee structure through different mode of admission so you have computer science isc aiml mechanical engineering civil engineering electrical and electronics engineering ece branch aerospace biotechnology and all other branches and talking about the, the postgraduate or mtech programs they have csc uh, uh, vlsi design embedded system structural engineering power electronics communication system and other so talking about the admission process again it takes admission through a uh, kset exam which is for karnataka domicile student and 45% of seats are through kset 30% is for uh, non karnataka or india based students and 30% seats through comed k and then there is a management quota way or direct admission to get into this college and post graduate is through great exam or the pgcet entrance process talking about the facilities again it has got advanced labs and libraries and it provides for on campus hostel for both boys and girls a uh, sports facilities for indoor and outdoor games is already there and good amount of innovation and incubation centers are there on the campus now talking about the fee structure first so this particular thing which you see is nothing but only tuition fees only tuition fees so through kset exam and this is last year last year the tuition fees was 296574 and through comed k entrance exam the tuition fees was 264372 but over and above the tuition fees you will also have to pay other fees which are including you know library uh, laboratory development fees and uh, uh, other charges so everything put together 35 to 40000 more you have to pay apart from the regular tuition fees which i have mentioned now talking about the management quota fees right so it is a number one college in karnataka so csc the management quota fees is highest 68 lakh rupees for four year program but if you want to consider the other uh, other engineering branches the total fee structure for last year management quota is given here so almost similar thing it will be there maybe 5 to 10% more that's all so civil engineering branch if you see the first line item uh, tuition fees for first year is 5 lakhs second year also 5 lakhs third year also 5 lakhs fourth year also 5 lakhs so total 20 lakhs for studying civil mechanical engineering is 6 lakh rupees every year so total 24 lakhs triple is is also 5 lakhs per year so total 20 lakhs ece first year is 16 lakhs but next 3 years 777 7. so total for ece will be 37 lakhs indian industrial engineering and management 4 lakh rupees per year total 16 lakhs next branch is chemical engineering 3 lakh rupees per year total 12 lakhs computer science engineering is the costliest as i said first year 32 lakhs then 12 lakhs then 12 lakhs then 12 lakhs so total 68 lakhs you need to pay for csc electronics and communication engineering 5 lakhs plus 5 lakhs on all four years 5 lakhs so total 20 lakhs electronics and telecommunication uh, information science engineering first year 20 lakhs then next year 10 lakhs 10 lakhs 10 lakhs total 50 lakhs biotechnology first year 9 lakhs but rest of the years 5 lakhs so total for biotechnology 24 lakhs uh, aerospace engineering first year 9 lakhs next 3 years it's around 7 lakhs each so total 30 lakhs for aerospace also now csc with aiml branch first year 20 lakhs the next of 3 years 10 lakhs each total 50 lakhs computer science with cyber security also first year 20 lakhs and total will be 50 lakhs and the last one you see computer science with data science that also total for 4 uh, years will be 50 lakhs so this includes all the courses
for management quota. Plus, they do have the you know, MCA courses which you can get at management quota. For two years MCA, management quota fees is 7 lakh rupees. Now, talking about the placements part of it. So, first is they have a good pre-placement training and provides for soft skill training. You know, they have industrial visit pre-placement talks and industrial internships. Right? That is very helpful to get a world-class placements. So now let's see that total placements which has happened over the year. So I'll start with the first batch 2021. So that year company total number of companies visited was 280 and the total number of offers made were 1323 and the highest package offered was 53.18 lakhs. Now talking about the next year in 2022 the total number of companies visited was 291 so that also quite good and the total number of offers in fact increased to 1485 so almost close to 1500 offers and the highest salary also now increased to 60 lakhs approximately that is the good trend. Now I'm talking about 2023 the tough year the companies visited was again very good 214 companies visited and the total number of offers made was 910 and again the highest package also increased to now 62 lakhs. Now I'm going to talk about the latest placement which was a 2024 batch which also showed a very good placement and it was one of the toughest year in India for placement. So total number of companies still visited 179 and the total number of offers were still more than 850. So that is a good placement trend. And the highest package you can see for BTEC the highest package in this bad market was 92 lakhs which is excellent. Even for the MTech or the MCA which is a postgraduate courses M the highest package was 35 lakhs. So which is an excellent performance. Now talking about the numbers or the offers breakdown for 2024 batch. In the tough market how the colleges perform. So if you can see from the below line right. The best salaries are the salaries above 14 lakhs. So there were 351 offers which is more than 14 lakhs which is quite excellent. The next bracket is between 12 lakhs to 14 lakhs which is also an excellent salary and there were 77 offers. And the next were between 8 lakhs to 12 lakhs. In this category also 205 offers were there which is quite good. So if you consider salaries above 8 lakhs you can see here close to 600 students got placed right now if you talk about between 6 lakhs to 8 I will say it is an average package range and 127 offers and below 6 lakhs is considered as a lower salary for this college so still 150 offers were there so total number of offers if you see here is around 850 plus offers right and the top recruiters in 2024 batch was you know Amazon, Asian Paints, uh, Bosch, Capgemini, Citibank uh, D Shaw and company. So it is mix of basically IT and non-IT companies. So that's all I have to cover in this particular video. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the colleges in Karnataka and across India. Take care and bye.